Hey guys, so for this next I'm Addicted To video, um, I decided to film it especially today of all days because I wore a cut up shirt to school which I don't do too often um, because, I don't know, I find myself feeling awkward in school. I usually wear them um, at home or if I'm just going out like with my friends not anywhere special, like if I'm not going out to dinner, if I'm just going like to the park. Um, or something like that, I'll wear a cut-up shirt. Otherwise, I don't really wear them, like, out to the movies and stuff like that because they're kind of, like, a sloppy, um, shirt. But there are ways to dress them up, and I'm going to show you that in this video. This is on my fashion channel because it kind of is fashion-related. Um, also, on, like, a side note, I filmed a video yesterday. It was a tag video, and I never edited it because I was really tired. So hopefully by the time you're watching this video, the other one is up as well. Obviously, you'll know which one it is because I just mentioned it was a tag video and it's new. So, hopefully it'll be up. Okay, so this shirt, to start off, um, it's just a gray t-shirt. And it was originally, like, a regular scoop neck t-shirt, like this one. I'm going to kind of show you how to cut them in a way. Alright, so it was a regular scoop neck big t-shirt like this one is. And the way I cut it, I'm not going to cut one because I don't have one to cut right now because some of my t-shirts I like keeping the way they are. So what you do is you cut with um, scissors. You cut all along the neckline. Make sure you get it cleanly in the back as clean as possible. You just stretch it out like this and it stretches out your line a little bit and then just try it on um, to size it and if it looks like it goes off one shoulder well and still covers the other one well, then you're good. If not, then just snip it a little bit more on where you cut by the neckline. And that's basically all you have to do. If you have a long t-shirt like this one was, I do cut on the end so it's like regular. Um, but you don't really have to do that unless it's a long t-shirt. Um, most of the time I don't have to do that, but with this one it wasn't mine so I had to cut it. So now about the particular shirt I'm wearing, this is probably my favorite cut up shirt actually. Um, this was either my mom or my dad's, I'm not sure, um, and I'm pretty sure I got it from a concert, but I'm not 100% sure. And see how it's, like, faded? It wasn't, like, like that, it just got faded because this is so old. But as you might already know, I don't know if I mentioned this in any past videos, I'm a huge Beatles fan. My dad is, like, probably the biggest Beatles fan you'll ever meet, so that's why this is so old because he's had it forever. Or whoever had it. I love wearing this shirt. One, because it's a Beatles shirt. And two, because the way that it ended up working out the way I cut it came out really good. Um, it's This is how you want it. Right off the shoulder and slightly off of your shoulder here. You don't want it right by your neckline because it looks kind of weird that way. And usually the side that you cut, the sleeve will fall um, down more. But it looks okay, you know? It doesn't look like stupid, like they're uneven. And then in the back... It should go down. This is probably the farthest it should go down. If it goes down any further, it'll look kind of sloppy and it just won't look as good. So don't make sure you don't cut the back neckline too far. Under it, you'll want to wear a tank top like this. Um, as for school and stuff, you should wear um, an actual tank instead of a cami. But camis can work well too. Just make sure it covers your bra straps because as you can see, if it doesn't, it looks really stupid. And you'll want to try to make your cami and your bra match so that way if it does come out, it doesn't, you know, look super like you have a red bra on and like a green tank top, you know. And try to make it match your shirt too. With this, I could have worn gray, but I figured it would be too matchy. And plus my shoes that I'm wearing today are black, um, which I'll show you my whole, whole outfit in a second. So you'll want to make it match as best as you can. And I'm also going to show you um, two other cut-up t-shirts just as examples. Um, I have more. I think I've been wearing them actually like to bed and stuff because I don't know where they are. But this is uh, one example. This one, I this was like one of the first ones I did. That's why it's so, it looks like it's so like cut up like it's really big but when I put it on it looks pretty good it's a little it's like this one but it's a little more off the shoulder here which is fine because it still looks okay when I put it on and this one I did cut at the bottom too because this was like a really really big t-shirt um, so I cut it at the bottom too and this one is actually a Paul McCartney shirt oops it's inside out and this 
is probably my least favorite. Not the shirt itself. I love the shirt, but I kind of messed up cutting it. So this will show you like an example of how you should try not to cut it. With this one, I cut it way too deep, but I wear it around the house. Look at how huge this is. See, you don't want to cut it like this. You want to cut it right around the neckline. And that's where I went wrong because I watched YouTube videos on how to cut up your shirts. And it told me to cut up a lot of it. So that's what I did and it came out really bad. So now this is what it looks like even though I really like this shirt. Um, so sometimes I wear it like this. Covering my shoulders and being like a v-neck. Because I think it looks better that way. So if you do mess up you can always end up wearing them like a v-neck. And with you know a tank top that matches. So with this I would wear like red or blue or even um, gray. Because... It has a black and white Paul McCartney on it. So this is kind of like a bad result of cutting a shirt. After a while, you will definitely get the hang of it. It's so easy after a while, trust me. Um, so, you know, don't get too tense about it, but you do have to be cautious um, when you're cutting them. So I'm going to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today just because this is how, like, I match my shirts. Um, I usually wear them with, like, jeans or shorts or something, not with, like, a skirt or anything like that. Because that's too dressy for a shirt like this. And I will show you a few ways to dress it up. I didn't really dress it up today because I just had my hair up. And it was just kind of like a bummish day for me. Um, but this is how I would wear one to school. So this is this shirt. It got a little short um, after washing it a few times. Because I've worn it a few times. But, you know, that's perfectly fine. My, my tank top goes a little farther. Which is actually a good thing. Because if I went up like this it was like show my belly so it's good that this tank top happens to cover a lot um but not too much so it still you know shows my jean pockets that's pretty much a good um length for your tank tops then i am wearing it with um my favorite jeans actually my favorite um skinny jeans from old navy these are just a regular blue color but i really could have worn this with anything i had the black so i could have done dark jeans and i had the light gray so i could have done light jeans it really doesn't matter but you do want to match it with your shirt and then for shoes i had my kmart boots um the zipper is on the inner side and then the buckles are on the outer side so basically that is how i put together an outfit with this as far as dressing it up I don't really have any examples with me at the moment but you can definitely do your hair nicer I mean I just threw mine up today um I did straighten it but then it didn't come out too good so I just ended up putting it up and you can curl your hair you can do anything like that you can poof it that'll even give it even if I did like a poof it a ponytail that would give it a much dressier look um, dangly earrings would probably look best, not studs. Studs are just kind of like generic and dangly earrings would definitely make it more dressy. And for a necklace, you don't want a short necklace because this neckline doesn't work well with short necklaces. So you want a really long, um, necklace kind of plain. You know, you might want like a long silver one that ends with like a little charm at the end. Not like a million pearls and charms going all over the place. And like I did, I wore boots instead of like sneakers with it. That definitely gives it a dressier look. Um, jeans instead of sweats definitely help. I don't really recommend wearing these with sweats because it makes it look really bummy and sloppy and it just does not look well put together. So jeans and um, denim shorts and stuff like that are a good idea. Um, even like corduroy shorts, if you wear them, are perfectly fine. Depending on the shirt you cut up, if it's just like a solid color shirt, you can match it with plaid shorts, Bermuda shorts, anything like that. So I hope this helped you guys in cutting up shirts because for so long I have been curious on how to cut them up and if it'll come out good. It's honestly really easy and it's nothing to be stressed about because even if you mess up, no big deal. So that's about it that I have to say for this I'm Addicted To video. This is my first I'm Addicted To video on this channel, but I have another one up on my vlog channel, so I will definitely put that in the down bar. Um, I hope you liked it, and if you want more, I will be happy to make more on this channel. So let me know in the comments, and yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye, guys.